Hey, my name is Marty, my girlfriend's Agnes. We're traveling around the world and this is us in Quito, Ecuador. Agnes went to the Galapagos, I was in Medellin. We decided to meet in Quito, uh, which fun fact, uh, Quito is the closest that you can get to the sun on planet Earth without, you know, sucking Jeff Bezos' dick, so cool. Um, so I arrived a little bit earlier, so I was able to get the accommodations uh, settled. I was able to walk around the city and get the lay of the land a little bit. And by the time Agnes arrived, I knew exactly where I was going to take her first. I'm in Ecuador, and um, it's like tradition, like national dish here. Yeah, it's a guinea pig. Mm. Yeah, chewy, crispy. Yeah. A bit like pork belly or pork cracklings. Definitely needs salt. Yeah. Ew. I'm decapitating the guinea pig. I'm so sorry, but I cannot look in your face. Look at your face while I'm eating you. Oh, wow. Like chopping up a corpse is not easy. I've been traumatized too. Especially after watching myself doing that thing. Anyway, the next morning we got up early-ish and went up to this beautiful basilica. The Basilica of the National Vow offers a peaceful haven to everyone who steps inside. This beautiful basilica with God's own radio station. Walk across the cathedral spine at roof level to climb its highest tower for unforgettable views of Panecillo Hill and its winged statue of Mary. We decided to come up here, pay the three dollars, <laughs> and at least see something from the city. And. Uh, that was a great decision because the view is uh, spectacular, amazing, beautiful, mind-blowing. Um, I only have one concern about this place. Let me just show you some real fucking jerks. Like Andrew and Kevin from 2018. They are totally not together anymore or they are in desperate marriage with two ugly kids. But they just couldn't help themselves and write their stupid fucking names here. Seriously. Stop this trend. So, now that we came down, we can say that we've seen whole keto under 15 minutes. Best money spent. Or best spent money. How do you say it? Yeah, like, priests are kind of dope here. Right? Going up the hill to the mayor statue and that street, those stairs look terrifying. We're gonna go up to the Mary statue, which you can drive up there, but there's a, a very easily walkable path. Easy. It look you get <laughs> you can see it as you're going up there, but because it's so high up in the Andes, it's if you're not used to that altitude, it is kind of difficult. How do you like it, Martin? Having fun? Yeah, I like watching you breathe deep. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, you're yeah, having so much fun climbing this mountain. Bus, the view. Ooh. But you'll see signs like this one. That sign isn't a joke. Like, it's kind of a dodgy area, and there were tons of dogs around there. Cute ones, but also we got attacked on our way back down. Literally a dog like blocked our path, and we couldn't get by it without it like trying to attack us. And then Agnes was like, no, 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 no. and I was like, ah, and it was like, ah, ah. And our, both of our heart rates were like super high. Yeah, that was really scary, okay? <laughs> I, I don't know how to attack when a fucking dog attacks me how to behave when a dog attacks me. Keep moving, <laughs> keep moving. I was getting the dog off and you were like, no, and I was like, move, bitch, move, get back. Because I went back for you to save me. No, you kept me, you kept me from moving away.
away from the dog. I was like, no dog, no. And you were like, go up, up. I was like, what the fuck, bitch, move back. Today, today things that never happened. <laughs> you guys from this vantage point one can see all the beauty of the south neighborhoods of the city right the thing that excited me the most about ecuador was the equator surprise surprise and the equator museum like i was totally uh, buzzed to go there and it did not disappoint but it's all it's an over and that's what i wanted to say the intinian solar museum lays claim to be on the real equatorial line <laughs> yeah thanks for turning around i want privacy <laughs> We are at the middle of the world. Uh, there are two museums um, about this whole thing, about the equator. And uh, allegedly this is the real one. This is the less famous one, but... Um, and also there are two uh, equator lines. And uh, as much as I know, none of them is correct. The second one, the newer one, which is next to this museum, is more correct, but not perfectly correct um and we are about to um okay and now we are about to experience some fun activities in this museum such as balancing an egg uh, i'm totally not gonna check my weight because i don't want to ruin my day um but yeah let's see so they say that this is the real equator line. Even if it's not correct, they would say that. But yeah, let's just let's just believe them. I totally want this to be the real equator line. Entertaining experiments aim to show a change in the pull of gravity. Although in reality, the effect is too minute to observe with a naked eye. Look at the leaves. Straight. Now spinning and straight down on equator. One, two, and three. Look at the leaf. Clock. White. Yes, yes. And the southern in. Okay. Look at the leaf, please. Counter. Counter, yes. Clockwise. And the other in. Okay. Body, balance your weight. Support your hands here. Try to put the egg on the center of the nail, straight, and move it little by little. If you do it, oh jeez! <laughs> if you do it at the end of the tour, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so this house was built in 1875, and the material they use is like. Uh, what was that? I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I know, so blood and a shit of animals, but uh, also some kind of um, sand or yeah, soil. So this is a typical kitchen, and that's where they catch the guinea pigs. Oh, and they're here. Yeah. Oh, there runs the food. Oh, poor little things. So cute. This is the end of the tour. Did you enjoy it? Oh yes. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for Thank coming. You. It was a pleasure for me. And I have your diplomas of Ecu So we finished our guided tour and uh, now we are walking around a bit because this place is just incredibly beautiful. Uh, honestly, this is probably the most beautiful place I've been to in Ecuador. And uh, when I say this, I... I say it after the Galapagos Islands, which are like meh. And I can see everything here. Like, I'm not even kidding. No, so yeah, no, this no. is the Galapagos Islands. <laughs> that we don't, that we know of. <laughs> I really like this tree. All these statues from all over the world are symbols of God. And if there is one thing Ecuadorians into our so 
So this is another place that our uh, tour guide just skipped. Yeah, these Jesus pictures everywhere. Okay, some animal masks, traditional drums. Actually, the temperature of this house is really, really good. It's quite cold. The shrunken head on display here, however, is anything but a trick. It's a war relic of the tribal Shuar people. And here's the real thing for you guys. This is incredible. There's another one. There's another one. Hello, hello. Hi. Is it a real one? Yeah, it was, my, it? It was my last father-in-law. Oh, I'm no, sure. Just no. I'm just Let's go through it. So first, they just they just murdered uh, the person. Sorry, my Zoom is not working. Uh, my phone is acting up. Then they just pull the skull out. Oh my god. And then they probably cook it? Yeah. Uh, they sew it together, put some stone in it. Oh, I need to do some research. Yeah, and then they just, yes, there's another one, yeah. Decorated themselves or their sticks with it. <sighs> the carved stone heads leading up to the Mitad del Mundo monument represent the French scientists who, almost three centuries ago, declared this to be the equator. So this is the original museum and the original monument marking the middle of the earth uh, but it's been proved to be uh, a bit false and um, yeah it's another part but we decided not to not to go inside because we just had so much fun at the other museum and nothing can be that honestly but it's, um, it's a cool picture we were staying in the old town, which isn't very safe to go out at night, but luckily the hostel we were staying at um, had tons of entertainment and a bar to play at and just some really energetic and lively people. Very energetic and lively people. A good place to end your tour of the old town is the nearby ancient thoroughfare, Calle La Ronda. We're walking around in the streets of uh, Quito and you guys are not going to believe who we bump into. It's like the most random fucking thing ever. This is <laughs> Peter. Guys, hey, Hi. beautiful people from USA, uh, Hungary, beautiful people. Hey, welcome to Colombia. This is Peter. Yes, Everywhere. Peter. <laughs> I'm not Ricky Martin, Peter. You know, everybody says Ricky Martin. Hey, beautiful people, really. Nice to meet them again. I was in Colombia, I met them now in Ecuador. He's following so, us. Beautiful like, people here. Hey, if you want to try to know any place in Latin America, try to come to Ecuador, Quito, the middle of the world. What do you think? This is amazing. <laughs> we love Quito. Food is amazing. Music is amazing. Peter is amazing. <laughs> hey, love yourself. <laughs> just, just, I just feel a like little. This bottle's just, ours now. I okay, so just, just a little uh, update. Uh, Peter offered us uh, two shots, a two cocktails for four dollars and now we already had more than four shots, uh, two shots or whatever, we drunk up, sorry. And he just brought up so much lime and pineapple for the tequila. So, the party is lit. We want to get up to more red lime.
puppies of Kito. Hello, puppy. Hello. Oh, you're very cute. Oh, you're very cute too. Oh, these puppies run very fast. Oh my God, we don't have food. I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry, puppies. They're more puppies. Oh my God. Well, uh, yeah, that was meeting first meeting Peter and Bogota, and then meeting him again was just like, and we had a great night. Um, yeah, we woke up early uh, to, to because our flight was leaving that day, but we wake up early because we want to take the cable car. So early, bright eyed, hungover, and we meet this guy. <laughs> His eyes were like, okay, like, let me, let me just say that. Yeah. So we were walking on a street, and this guy who was obviously under the influence of something or a lot of things, he came up to us. And first, both of us thought that he was a beggar or something like that, but he just started to talk to us in a language that we didn't understand. And he started to play his flute, and on top of it, he gave us these bracelets. He put them on our wrists himself. I think we're married now. By Satan. Yeah. Take the gondola up the Pichincha volcano. On these slopes, a historic battle took place that resulted in Quito's liberation from Spain in 1822. The view is just unbelievable. Look at that volcano. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't say that. I haven't seen the volcanoes. Look at all the volcanoes. So beautiful. So beautiful. You can bring up your bike and then just go downhill. Anyways, I thank you guys for uh, watching another video of ours, and oh, the next one. Oh, the next one. Oh, that's gonna be like a piece of cake. Yeah. Oh, by the way, when are you gonna do the the last clap of this video? What's gonna be last video? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just give it. The next one. Can we just hint, hint it? Yeah. Go ahead. Ayahuasca. That's not a hint. That's you just telling what it is. <laughs> Can we hint at it? Yeah. Go ahead. Just hint at it. Ayahuasca. Good hint. Okay. Bye.